It started with an assignment uh, just in Shekou, where one of the ships, one of the Wakwang ships, the Starlight Venture, was going into dry dock for refurbishment. So it started from there, and from the, that set of pictures that I took, they then asked me to think of, come up with something for the 60th anniversary. I started looking for a kind of storyline. I keep getting this image of a handful of iron ore in some workers' hands. And I started thinking the bulk carrier carrying iron ore from around the world to China and then gets turned into steel and then it gets turned into an oil tanker. I mean, from one Wakong ship carrying goods to become another Wakong ship. They got it right away. They, they realized that then it's not just about uh, Wa Kong having been in the shipping business for 60 years. It becomes a story about the whole shipping industry. How a handful of iron ore eventually becomes this 300,000 ton, you know, creature that roams the sea. And then from that point on, I kept going back to Darlene at various critical stages of construction. From the very beginning when the pipes were being put together, I started covering every stage of it. When I shot the steel mill uh, in Ningbo, I knew I had something because that was the old-fashioned, sort of old-style factory from a very science fiction. It was a really fantastic place to be in. The old-style machines tend to have uh, more humanity. It's very exciting, and the smoke and fire and heat and, yeah, there's just tiny little people running around. You know, that was the thing. It's just really, it's the scale of it. I've mostly done travel work all around the world, and this is the first time I've done any sustained kind of industrial photography. There is a certain way I look for a shot, a certain style. Well, I think partly it's the composition, partly it's the moment, the emotion that's expressed, which is what uh, is different in this, in that you're dealing with huge hunks of steel. Or iron ore being dug out of the ground, so it's quite a different, you, you're trying to find that same emotion in the machines. It's not obvious the beauty hidden within the industry in, in terms of factories. You have to look for it, and, uh, but it's there, and it can be incredibly beautiful. I went on the journey on the Equiventure, because otherwise the story wouldn't be complete. I was completely awed by the sheer size of these things. We take for granted that oil somehow gets from one place, gets from the Middle East to uh, Asia or to America, and then you realize that the bulk carriers or the, or the crude carriers, are, they are enormous. It's unbelievable. And I've been to some vast places before, but it's different, it's very different. The way the ocean bounces the light back into the sky is quite extraordinary. And at the scale, yeah, as you say, the scale of this is incredible. You really have no idea how big the ocean is, and that's only the South China Sea. We're trying to present the whole process so that a secondary school student can understand without anybody sitting there explaining things to you. And I think it works, and that's very satisfying. I try to bring the same perspective into the industrial photography that I have shooting the travel work. Essentially, I really just have, am capable of taking one shot, and that's always the shot I look for. I keep taking the same picture over and over and over again, wherever I am, anywhere in the world. And when I get it, it's good. I'm quite thrilled. I think I'll do more. I'd like to do more. <laughs>